Hey, Renee, Chris, and Ryan going live. The best podcast, Beauty and the Beast. Sit back and catch a vibe. Coming up now, it's uh, who's my moderators on this one? Is this Meg? Hey, girl. That was fun. That was interesting. I liked it. We got to do the wave. The wave, I, uh, the Cupid Shuffle. I got to try my way. very first Swedish fish, thanks to Cassidy. She literally pulled it out of a napkin, and she's like, do you want it? I was like, never had it before, which is, sounds really weird. And she's just like, hmm? So I took it. And it's pretty yummy, but I still prefer gummy bears. But you guys ready for an awesome panel tonight? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got your questions lined up in case we... In case you want to ask them, you have a little bit, you have like 20 minutes to think about it, so no pressure. Well, I really love this next panel. This young lady, uh, I saw her many, many years ago and just had a little flashback moment back there. So sweet, so sweet, but you know her as Enid from The Walking Dead. Please welcome Caitlin Nacon. <laughs> Number, number four. <laughs> so, how's, how's your camp been so far? Oh. Just keep talking, he'll find me. Do you want to try that mic there over there? No, 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 stay, stay on that mic. Oh. Don't switch mics, don't switch mics. This one. There you go. Hey. Hey. Testing, testing. Um, yeah, it's been great. I, I, are you guys enjoying it? You having fun? Yeah. I love to hear it. It's, it's, I really love this it's just, convention. It really is like a family convention. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so just, nice. It's like summer camp. It is. And with the heat. And we're starting to fully summer yet. Yeah, so we're cold. I yeah, we had the fire trucks come and it was yeah. like it was like we should have a field like day. Next year, that's what we gotta do. We gotta do like a field day. I Maybe a day. bonfire. Yes. Oh, yes. remember those field day activities? Or the three legged races? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, and then every celebrity like has their own team. Well, they kind of teased that with the cornhole. Yes. Did you get to do that? No, 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 I didn't. But I, I heard about. I was it. watching it from the balcony. Nice. It was pretty hilarious. Yeah. People were like chucking it. Who won? I didn't get that far because I went to dinner. Oh, well, so, wait, does anybody know who won cornhole? Depends on who you ask. <laughs> I love Maybe it. we shouldn't ask that. Though. I know. We're I just going to say everybody won. Yeah. Everybody's a winner it's when a they're participation here. award. Yeah, I like the way you think. <laughs> so, I heard you have some recent projects coming out. Yes. So, yeah. Go ahead. I'll let yeah, you take the I, um, I just had three movies come out this year. Um, they're great. I loved every single one of them. Um, one is called they're all available on Amazon Prime for rental. Lucky Amazon. Um, but one is called Linoleum. Um, it's starring Jim Gaffigan and Ray Seahorn. Uh, another one is called Southern Gospel. And then there's a third one called Devil's Peak, which also stars Billy Bob Thornton and Robin Wright. Um, very good. If you have time, I'd love for you to check it out. If you don't want to, oh well. <laughs> no, we don't want to. What kind of, what kind of characters did you get to play with that? Um, it was great. Linoleum was great because it was the first time I had a character who like actually told jokes and just didn't cry the entire time she was on screen, <laughs> which was fun. Um, I loved, uh, she's one of my favorite characters I've ever played. I think she's written so, so well. Um, and just I, the fact that a Teenager was written by a, a white man in his 20s and done very successfully was... Which is really rare nowadays. Yes. <laughs> Trust me, I get a lot of scripts. It's very good. <laughs> um, it, it was just such an amazing experience to play her. She's bright, lovely, and yeah, I, I loved everything about her. And Southern Gospel was really interesting, I think. It reminded me a lot of my mamma, uh -huh. um, the character did, and so that was kind of close to my heart to be able to do that. And then um, the other character, that was just a great experience. It was such a great learning experience. And it was like, we were filming like 30 minutes down the road for Devil's Peak from my parents' house. Oh, so, and so I just had lived a, with my parents. Yeah. My mom did my laundry. It was amazing. I'm <laughs> jealous. Yeah. I was like, man, this is the life. This is the luxury. I need every film to film right. 30 minutes from my parents' Can you house. Just have your parents come out with you. That's what I needed to yeah. do. So I just need to be like, hey, can you get me another hotel room? for my parents. Yeah. Right, a place with the laundry. Yeah, or, and I'll just, just give them like yeah. 10 bucks a day. That should be enough, right? 
Okay. Like, we'd love to get a meal. So yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Maybe there's a buffet. That would not be in this economy, but like maybe. no. Like <laughs> a cup of coffee at least. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, we yeah. have coffee in the room. True. So a true. Snack so it's a mini bar. Yes. Like yes. a candy bar or something. Yes. Exactly. So like how? Now you were saying like because like we all know you. You're so bubbly. You're so awesome. Ugh. And then you play these darker roles. Yeah. How like you kind of is it easy for you to kind of just like turn it on and off or like what's kind of the process yeah. with that? I mean. Have to learn how to do that anyways especially if it is really dark content you don't want to take that home with you um a lot of the time though really what i do is i just put myself in the character's shoes like if i was in a zombie apocalypse and i got my parents eaten eaten in front of me like how would i react right I'd be happy. You so know. It, it, a lot of it is just like just being like well what would i be like if i experienced all these things and that's how i'm able to you know to be that, so I'm not happy all the time, you know. I am too. Yeah. Every <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I would be really concerned because like yeah. we had to talk it backstage, like with like Cassidy's energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and say like I, how we would love an ounce of that. So yeah. I mean, if anybody was like happy 24 seven, we'd be a little concerned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, oh, wait, what was, I, what was I just gonna ask? I just blanked out, but I do have another question though. Yeah. Okay. So I had read somewhere. I kind of did a little bit of a deep dive. Oh, I heard. heard. Oh, of course, I had to. I have a rumor that there's a certain character that you would love to play from the DC. Oh yeah, Batgirl or Raven. Okay, so why those? Um, Raven I was just obsessed with because I watched Teen Titans growing up. Um, Kari Payton plays, or voices Cyborg. I, I didn't know that for the really? longest time. I worked with him for like two or three years. Just and never came up in conversation. I, I, yeah, I just, I don't know how I figured it out. I think I maybe like saw a clip or saw an episode of as of late and I was like, and I went to him the next day and I was like, dude, I like was starting to tear up and I was like, you're the voice of Cyborg? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, you're just now figuring this out. Like, yeah, <laughs> <what's that deal? laughs> and I was like, dude, that, I, I geeked out completely about it. But like, I loved Raven. I just like, I just like her dark sarcasm. I think it's hilarious. Um, and then Batgirl, because I think she's badass. Um, I could totally see you as Batgirl. Yeah, dude. And she's also, it's because she's very short in the comics. Apparently she's like 5'4". Okay. Because she wanted to join the police academy, but she wasn't able to make it because she was too short. And I'm like, that's right up my alley. There you go. Okay, that's the See. only chance I got. I like that. Because you kind of like, well, some of how you said before, she's badass. But then you gave a different answer for it. So I really like you kind of like, it's not just, I just want to play this person. Yeah. Like, there's like a legit reason. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I can do it. You know what? Now I can't like picture anybody else. Thank you. Because like, I know. we gotta get a petition. Would you want to do like a like a movie or like a show? What do you think? Probably a movie. Yeah. I mean, whatever they would give me, <laughs> I'd be happy with any of it. Honestly. So you were saying that you kind of like geeked out when you got out of that car. Is it weird to like kind of like geek out in front of your coworkers that like you've known so long? Yeah, yeah. It usually happens like after I meet them for some reason. Like they'll either do a new project or something like that, and I'll see their work in it, and it's just so phenomenal that the next time I see them, I'm like a little nervous. I'm like, oh my god. I know I've known you for years, but that was really good work. Like, <laughs> it's like hey, I'm I never very good. Yes. Now I'm like nervous. Yeah. And meanwhile, they're just like, hey, Caitlin. Like, yeah. What's like, up? It's like, girl, sit down. <laughs> yeah. So I um I didn't realize you're a gamer. Um, just recently. No, no, you're a gamer now. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, not <laughs> like if you put me in a shooting game, like first-person shooter, I can't do it. I can't. I, it's so hard for me to walk around and around and then shoot at the same time. I get right? really dizzy in first can't. person. I can't. I'm a huge I Someone starts shooting at me and I go, ah! and then I just shoot everywhere and run away. <laughs> and then I go, and then I call my brother and I'm like, Chris, go kill them. I just go, people are shooting. And then I run and then they start killing them. And I'm like, okay, I'll come back now. And I'll Is it safe in the stress? I, I can't do first person to save my life. Yeah, so like, it has to be third person. I have to be able to like do a cover system. Yeah. No, I'm a cozy farming simulator. I'm like a process, Sims girl all girl. the way. Yeah, Sims. I I got I got a farm with me and my boyfriend on it. We got cows and chickens and nice little. That's cows. what started you. No, no, no. On oh. Sims. Oh. I got like farming country or country there's cottage. Country? Yeah, there's like a cottage, country cottage. Okay, I need to spend some money it's now. I think that you can get cows. Oh, I have llama too. I have a llama in my imaginary what? world as well. <laughs> yeah, and you can shear the llamas. Guys, did anybody know this? You like, can like, do canning and stuff. It's so good. It's so good. I immediately made Xavier and I, and I said, we're going to live in a house together with animals. <laughs> I mean, I made my dog. 
Yeah. And it's like, I'm like a little chihuahua, so it's like, all right, I was able to pull that off. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, what do I want to do with my life? Okay, I'm going to do well, this. They have so many great packs. Yeah. you got to go exploring. Oh, cause I, ha I have like the majority of them, but now I feel like I have to... Oh, it's Dude, Cotty, I, I honestly, because I've always considered like buying more of them, but I'm really happy just with the country yeah. living. Like, I love it so I much. I saw this thing where it was like, if you break down the cost of all of them, it's like over three grand. Oh, I'm sure. And I probably so spent about two grand. all of them, and I'm like, yeah. how did you achieve, I mean, like, over time, it's less, like, intimidating. Yeah, There's yeah. They always have good sales every once in a while. And plus the summer I think sales. I got the original, the little, the original game is free now. But yeah, I, mean, I, I paid it, $70. Like, I did too! Okay, during the pandemic. And now it's like, seven bucks, okay. Oh, no, I, like, the day it came out. I want my $7 refund now, though. Yeah. Now that it's did free. you say $7? Yeah, you paid 70 I paid 70 Oh, I paid, like, 8 It was during the pandemic. We're not going to talk about I think, that. <laughs> I think they were like, people need to pass their time. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm a little mad now. But I mean, I, did, I got my money's worth, definitely. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. not, I'm not so mad, but I had to yeah. wait for all the DLC to come out. I, I mean, I waited a few years <laughs> to yeah. buy it. Just, just a few. Just a few. So, yeah. all right, so I have to ask. Did you ever make, like, Enid or anyone? <laughs> like, any, from any of your characters? No, I always, I, can, I make myself. So I guess okay. technically. Technically, in a way. Okay. Well, plus, you know, Georgia with all the animals. So with the other, yeah, yeah. But they didn't have the llamas in the walking dead. No, but they did have cows and chickens. Okay. So okay. it's like not that far off. But do you, her like, name is have definitely to... Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. So yeah. Like, do you have to like, like milk the cows? And all yes, that? you can milk the cows and you can sell the milk and you can get eggs from chickens and you can sell the eggs. And then they have like a like a Postmates option as well. Like if you go to the fridge, you can like Uber Eats basically. But you also have to go to the grocery store. Like you don't, you can't just make food out of the fridge. You right. have to like get all the supplies. And I love it so much. <laughs> Don't know why. I think you need to like go back and stream this. I know. Well, I I, I, I gotta get like some other kind of uh, console because I can't play it on PC and stream it at the same time. Otherwise, it would lag like crazy. We'll terrible. talk. So I gotta yeah. I gotta go back up the okay, stuff. Okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. So all right. So I kind of kind of touched a little bit about Walking Dead. And this is kind of a Walking Dead convention. A little bit. Yeah. If <laughs> you could have, did you get to watch Tales? No, I haven't. Okay, so what Tales is kind of like an anthology. They kind yeah. of introduce some new characters. Yeah, I you know about it. So if you could have an Enid-based episode, mm. what do you think it would be? Um, I mean, I think it could either be a prequel. So Enid and her family before they got to Alexandria, because obviously they were either on their own or they were leaving from another community, and I would love to be able to see like what that community was and stuff. I think there would be something cool there. I don't know if I'd be able to play her anymore because she's yeah. she would be 14 or 13 at the time. No, you're still like super young. You can probably like, hold it off. I'll just put some pigtails in my hair and we'll be good to go. Just put a little dirt on yeah. you. you could, it'll totally work. Otherwise, it would probably be um, the time jump, I guess. We got a few years there. Otherwise, it would just literally be an hour long episode of my head on a stick, and I don't hang anyone. We definitely don't. Yeah. All right. Well, like, if we didn't have the stick. Yeah. What do you think it would be like? Um. I don't know. I think honestly, I think she had such a like terrible time with the apocalypse. Like her parents died, and then she was just put in this community that she didn't belong in. And then she tries to find people, and then either Carl dies or um, Blaine. yeah, Glenn dies, and then Maggie leaves. And so it's just like all of her people just keep leaving. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think she would have found Alden. I think she would have been like, hey, I just want to chill at this point. Like, I want a normal life. I'm, like, sick of, I'm just sick of all this the death people and leaving. And yeah. People leaving. Yeah, just somewhere to hunker down. Yeah. I don't recommend the Commonwealth, by the way. Don't yeah. hunker down there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably not. So I have a very left-field question, because I just, I'm very left-field like that. Now, obviously, you've been interviewed over the years so many different times. <laughs> Is there ever like been like a question that you've always wanted to be asked that you never really got, or anything you wanted to answer that you never got to? Oh God, I mean that's a good question. I, I don't, not necessarily. I mean, I I I, I know questions that I didn't want to be asked. But okay, if I have asked those, I apologize. No, 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 no. What is the pikes like? like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, no, I. You know, I, I, I'm relatively an open book. It's it's whatever people want to ask. I remember um, we kind of got to talk 
it was one panel I did at um, Dragon Con. We got to kind of talk about social media and what that was like, and just okay. being a teenager and being on a show. And um, I loved being able to talk on that subject just because social media culture has gotten so terrible and it's toxic. So and it was insane. bad when I was I was like 15 and I was brought on the show and before I even before an episode even came out, I was just a young girl. Got announced, she's gonna play a character named Eden, not even a comic book character. Already got death threats. And I was like, oh, what? What is going on in this society? You haven't even been introduced. I know, I was like, at least like see if I'm good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that hurt. Yeah, That's... but it, it, it was amazing though to talk about that topic because I feel like we don't talk about it enough. No. And it's so prevalent in our lives today, you know? Like with cyberbullying. Yeah. So, like when I was a teenager, like MySpace was king. Mm. And then like when like Facebook joined, you needed the EBU email address. Yeah. And it's just, it's crazy just to see in like 20 years how much has changed. Yeah. It's so all encompassing too. Yeah. It is. It's like everybody's like, do it for the likes, do it for this. Yeah. But it, but it does have its it does have its uh, plus sides mm -hmm. because in situations like this, yeah, like it like front exactly like yeah. some like through the Walking Dead, I mean, some of the best friends. Yeah. Good to hang out with you. You know. There's there's to all great things in life. There's always a good side and a bad side. Yeah. You you can't have purely good. Yeah. Well, it kind of goes back to what we were saying before. Like, if somebody's like always in a happy mood, like yeah. that would be like. Well, like, if you think you about the balance. it, like you would never know what the other one felt like if you didn't experience the other. Like, exactly. you would never know what hot water felt like if you never felt cold water. I love that. So That's you really like good. the bad things so you can appreciate the good a bit more. I like that. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? You think that's pretty true? That's pretty good. So I had to remind myself that every time I get like a flat tire or something, I was like, that's something good is gonna happen. Hopefully, <laughs> just keep an eye out when there's a flat tire in yeah. case anybody can ever Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be like Ian's parents. <laughs> yes. I mean, we get to the hot one and the cold one. You kind of just have to just survive somehow. Yeah, Which yeah. Actually, that's exactly what it is. I recently got a tattoo of that. Yes, yes. girl, love it. I've been wanting yeah. to get it for a while, and then I heard it's you were It's the now. exact text too. I did. I took I a remember, screenshot of it. Dude, I remember they had me. They were like, hey, "Do you mind like writing just five somehow on postcards and stuff?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And I did a bunch of options. They didn't take any. So I remember I. They were like, they were like, we're gonna write our own. And I was like, well, they don't. So I remember I was gonna try. I like I tweeted to you or something, and like you know, I probably got, got lost in the floods, yeah. floods of tweets. I was like, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna go for the show. And I was like, all right. So the guy was like, you really want it in this font? He's like, you don't want it. I'm like, no, it has to be this font. Yeah. And he's just like, all right. It's a nice font. Whoever it hand wrote that, this is much better than mine. Because trust me, mine was like, <laughs> it was so big. Like, all well, it's a girl handwriting. Yeah, yeah. But this is kind of like gender neutral. I thought they wanted me to fill up the whole card. <laughs> okay, no, see, I get that now. Yeah. But and so there's they like, wanted, like they probably wanted it like in an actual yeah. sentence format. The guy remember the, the tattoo artist was like, but it's so tiny, and like so blow it up and trace it and then yeah, it down. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, you've never seen Walking Dead. He's like, yeah. I was like, okay, when did you stop watching? He's like, when Glenn died. I was like, all right, so you know, yeah, you get yeah. this episode. I so, know people usually say that, and I'm like, you've seen at least one season of me. I yes. promise. <laughs> there's, there's been multiple seasons. Yeah, yeah. But guys, do you have any questions out here? I know we got something. I know Chris, you got something lined up. Well, I, I want to go back to the uh, if we were ever getting tales like prequel. Yeah. Would the turtle? Would we get the turtle's life too? Dude, that would be amazing. If we could have. You see, you like know, his family and his yeah. kids. And, and then, then, and then the episode just ends with a. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, why am I picturing the turtle from Finding Nemo? <laughs> oh, it's oh. terrible. Oh, squirts? It's just, oh, or like, the, what, yeah. what's, what's the dad's name? Well, I'm thinking like a, like a stoner kind of turtle. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. style, and then it's... Noggin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you had the noggin on. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That would actually be a good one. I like that. No, I like that. Add it into the story. It's very um, Grapes of Wrath. I, that's the only thing I remember. Meal. Yeah, your first yeah. meal I with your parents. Yeah. I should actually make a photo op with you with a turtle. That could be a thing too, is her whole, that whole montage of like her whole sequence of living alone. Yeah. Like that's right. a whole Surviving episode. alone before she got to Alexandria. Yeah. yeah. That could be a whole thing. I love that. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting ideas. We need to like start pitching. I know, I'm going to write them all down. <laughs> we, we, we could talk to Sky. Yes. Yeah. Make it happen. Why not? Oh my gosh. Do you think you're going to ever see Enid and like, like if she ever appeared maybe like in Fear or like World Beyond, like what do you think she might have been like? Cause you know she was kind of always escaping Alexandria. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I, I guess I could. I feel like she would really stick to her. 
I feel like she would stay away from people, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, especially whenever she left, like she never even got near Walker. She had the whole timer thing. Where you do the kitchen timer, throw it, and then they'll go to it. Um, that was brilliant, by the way. I know. I read that and I was like, man, she's smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have been dead day two. Um, I think a lot of us would. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I don't know how she, that would work in. It would either be like with her parents or I guess some point when she is on her own and just trying to like find Alexandria or something like that. Okay, I like yeah. that. So is there any um is there any role that you've ever played in all the projects, whether your newest movies, Walk Dead, anything for that, even Too Many Cooks, which I love by <laughs> the way. You know, yeah. I'm still, I every now and then I'll just randomly pop that on. Too many cooks. can like keep, that's a bop that gets stuck in your head. Yeah, yeah. I still don't fully it understand the premise. Like, <laughs> no, I don't think anyone I would like it's like it's like an acid dribble. <laughs> yes, I think that's the point. Yeah. But it worked. That's adult swim for you. I, this is very true. But kind of going back to what I was trying yeah, to say. Yeah. Out of all the projects, is there any has there any role or any scene that you filmed that you kinda wanna you would love to relive for the first time? Oh god. I mean, yeah, so many. Um the one that came to my head right away is in Linoleum, um, Nora, the character I play, she has a conversation like with her mom. It's, it's kind of hard to explain the whole concept without spoiling anything. Um, but she has this conversation with her, and I think it was just very, like, very true to what I was kind of experiencing in her life at the same time. And I just imagined having that kind of conversation with my mom, and Nora is just sitting there, like, she's about to go to college, she's about to start this whole life, and she's like, I just don't, I don't know what to do. And her mom, played by Ray Seahorn, um, kind of just gives her this whole spiel. And it was just, it was such a really like beautiful, peaceful, loving moment in that film. Um, and it's definitely stuck with me ever since. I feel like that's something we've all have gone through at some point. Oh, yeah. Whether it's, you know, graduating high school, if you're going to go to college, yeah. career change. I need to go watch it this weekend now. I want to watch it's it on the plane so tomorrow. It's actually on the plane. You can watch yeah. it on, yeah, it, I think it's certain airlines, but yeah. Mm-hmm. I know Delta's Delta. got to step up. Delta has it. Okay. I Delta. watched it on the way here. Okay. No. Yeah. I'll watch that tomorrow yeah. then. There you go. This is something to do. Usually <laughs> I bring my Switch with me, but I didn't bring it with me this time. Well, there you go. There you go. I, you're welcome. I only have so much room in my bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta say, you were my first like big celebrity interview. I just wanna say, like solo, I should say. Thank you. Just, I just, thank you for such an awesome time. Yeah, and thank yeah, you for coming back to the camp. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thank you all for coming. Yes. It's been so nice to meet you guys and talk with y'all. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, can you give Caitlin a round of applause? Thank you.